everyone. I hope you all are doing well. So today we have a really, really crazy video to shoot because maybe you can see there is actually a flood in my hometown and it's the first time in my life that I experience a flood in my hometown. It's really not common here. And the crazy thing is that at the same time in Taiwan, for example, in Puli, my wife's hometown, there is also a flood because of the typhoon. The weather these days, you know, is getting so crazy. Even the climate is getting so crazy. I'm really not used to this in my hometown. So I thought we can go and document, see a little bit what is going on. Let's get started. So this is the road that I'm usually bike if I want to go to my hometown. And uh, as you can see here, totally, totally, totally flooded. So I better find another way down. Okay, so I made it to my hometown now and you can see it's really totally crazy. I'm gonna get really wet if I stand here. Uh, I see so many cars that stop because they cannot go any further and... You can see it's the road is totally flooded. I need to check if there comes a car I will get totally flooded too. This is really so it's totally covered in water here. It's really the most I have ever seen in my hometown. This, I know this is not as much as it is in Taiwan and we don't have mudslide, we don't have this kind of problem, but it's really crazy that at the same time in my hometown and also in Charlie's hometown we both got flooding, so it makes me a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit worried maybe for the future. Okay, so I got home now and it starts raining again. It's really so crazy. I hope it stops rain so all of the water can, you know, go away and uh, I talk with my sister she lives in a place called Lerdal and it turns out that is the place actually that is the worst right now because several of her neighbors I think something like 80 or 100 houses got flooded in the basement and sometimes on the first floor luckily my sister doesn't have any basement so only for her it's only like her garden is totally <laughs> flooded away the road there also is totally destroyed and it's so shocking for me because I am in the Facebook group for my hometown and also the Facebook group from Puli and it's so similar images you know this huge flood of brown water just sweeping everything away and the mudslides and the bus here in my hometown got totally stuck from the mudslide and I see the Fat Sai Tzu in Taiwan got stuck in the mudslide and I saw that there was a gas station almost totally covered from the mudslide and there was also the road being destroyed in uh, Nanto close to Puli so it's really, you know, so shocking and so sad. And I think that the damage right now in Puli is bigger from the typhoon than it is here. But at the same time, Taiwan and especially Puli are much better prepared for, uh, you know, natural disasters. Like, of course, it's kind of sad to say, but you guys have a lot of typhoon, a lot of earthquake, a lot of mudslides. Like, you are more prepared to deal with this. In Retvik, the last time we had a, a flooding here was in 1909, more than 100 years ago. So we are totally shocked to see this flooding. The only thing we have here is sometimes some uh, forest fire in the summer if it's a very hot and dry summer. So I, I'm I'm totally shocked by this situation. Every time when there is typhoon, the the so how about your how about your grandma? I live in the city center and I think in the city center of Pule it's okay. But I saw a clip that there was a lot of like water in the center of Pule too. Mm. It's like on the road. You know when the last time we had a flood here? A hundred years ago. So it's the weather I don't know, or maybe it's just a really coincidence. I have no idea actually. Yeah, because it really doesn't rain so much in the summer, usually. Yeah, it's really quite crazy. The good thing is that there seems to be no 
death, at least not that we know of so far. Uh, the thing that happened was that there was a big train that uh, derailed, but it was quite far from here and there was some injuries related to that, but it didn't go so fast, so it's not super serious. And in Taiwan, I saw there were some people missing and I also saw that this typhoon, there was some death in Japan, in Okinawa. So of course it's really, really uh, tragic because we know that the, the material cost, of course, is going to be so big, like all of those houses up in the village. And also down in Retvik, I see so many things and also cars breaking down, you know, so many things getting destroyed. Uh, and of course, in Puli, roads, houses, I saw there is also so much destruction there. But hopefully it's not so much, you know, human life or human injuries in these places. And um, I thought in Sweden, we don't have this kind of things, you know, I know in Taiwan we have it, but in Sweden we don't have it so I am kind of shocked and I wanted to make this video to kind of give a little update and share this situation and share this crazy I don't know if this is like a, a crazy coincidence that we have this huge flood once in a hundred years now and at the same time in Puli or if this will be the, the future now because of the climate change that there is gonna be more floods and more crazy weather we also have like a crazy hot summer first and then we had a crazy rainy summer so uh yeah i don't know but i just wanted to document a little bit so we can look back at this and share how the situation is looking so uh, if you want please uh, like this video please leave a comment please share thank you so much for watching i will see you all next time bye bye